A painful goodbye to the murdered Catholic priest Fausto Tentorio from the indigenous tribes of northern Cotabato. Fondly called Father Pops, the Italian clergyman lived among them for over 25 years. He gave us daycare centers and scholarships. He empowered us tribal people. And that's what his supporters say made him so dangerous to those with money and in power here. They say the military long considered Father Fausto a person of interest, suspected him of being a communist rebel leader, and questioned his anti-mining activism. There were soldiers just 30 meters away from where an assassin wearing a crash helmet stood waiting for Father Fausto on Monday morning. As the priest came out to try to get into his car to go to a meeting, the assassin stepped forward and with a gun equipped with a silencer, shot him multiple times. Afterwards, witnesses say that the assassin just casually strode across the churchyard to get on board a motorcycle with a driver on it already waiting to take him away. Father Peter Jeremia worked alongside Father Fausta from the very beginning. What we, uh, he says they were used to feeling unsafe and being threatened by both big mining companies and the military. But they believe things were getting better now under the young government of President Benigno Aquino III. Are all the soldiers uh, in, uh, and all under a, a light of suspicion? No. But are there also others? The killings have become part of their uh, uh, SOP, their standard practice. At this time, but the military denies any involvement in Father Fausta's murder. Uh, our government forces are already uh, well aware of uh, the human rights violations, international humanitarian law. We have pledged to abide in all of this. Father Fausta's final resting place is being prepared from the trunk of a tree he planted when he first moved here, just as he requested. We have the feeling we must continue. Those who loved him are determined to make sure their father pops will not be relegated to just another number on the growing list of victims still being killed in the Philippines with impunity. Margo Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Arakan Valley, Southern Philippines.